to an opening two minutes to Mr. Vermin Supreme. Thank you. Gingivitis has been eroding the gum line of this great nation long enough and must be stopped. For too long, this country has been suffering a great moral and oral decay in spirit and in sizers. A country's future depends on its, on its ability to bite back. We can no longer be a nation indentured. Our very salivation is at stake. Together, we must brace ourselves as we cross over to the bridge work into the 23rd century. Let us bite the bullet and together make America a sea of shining smiles from sea to shiny sea. Now, friends, some people will tell you that this mandatory toothbrushing law is about the secret dental police kicking down your door at 3 a.m. to make sure you've brushed. Friends, it is not. Some will mention the dental re-education centers or the preventative dental maintenance detention facilities. It's about none of these things. It's not about the government-issued toothpaste containing an addictive yet harmless substance. No, friends, it is not even about DNA gene splicing to create a race of winged monkeys to act as tooth fairies. Friends, what this mandatory toothbrushing law is really about is strong teeth for a strong America. My name is Vermin Supreme. I am a friendly fascist. I am a tyrant that you should trust, and you should let me run your life, because I do know what is best for you. Yes, I am a politician. I will promise you anything your little electorate heart desires, because you are my constituents. You are the informed voting public, and because I have no intention of keeping any promise that I make. Vote early, vote often. Remember, a vote for Vermin Supreme is a vote completely thrown away. I would like to take this moment to acknowledge uh, my mother, who is in the audience here today. Please stand up, mother. Please stand up. Um, if you can stand up, please stand up. Yeah, she's going to try and stand up so you can acknowledge her. This, this, is, this is my mother. Uh, there we go. And five years ago this April, I gave her a kidney. My challenge to you people, everybody on the stage and everybody in the audience, give up a kidney. All right. Thank you, Mr. Supreme. Mr. Supreme, uh, welcome back. Uh, you, Thank you, uh, sir. Like, like some of the other candidates, including uh, former Governor Romney, um, this is not your, shall we say, first rodeo. Let us say that. <laughs> um, this is not the first time you have run for president in the Correct. New Hampshire primary. Um, and uh, President Romney has been accused, and I'm not taking a position one way or the other, of taking different positions on different issues. Um, I'm uh, asking you right now, are, do you still stand by your pledge made in 2008 to provide a pony for every American? Yes, I do, sir. Free ponies for all Americans, one of the overlooked issues in America today. My free pony platform is, of course, a jobs creation program. It will create lots and lots of jobs. Once we uh, switch over to a pony-based economy, we'll also lower our uh, dependence on foreign oil. We'll also be able to uh, turn all that pony poop into methane gas and wonderful compost, so we'll be able to uh, re uh, up our soil that is being depleted by uh, agrochemicals, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, of course, the important thing to realize is that it is a federal pony identification program where you will need your pony with you at all times. Thank you very much. Mr. Supreme, I wanted to follow up on Ambassador Shoemaker's question. Yes. Regarding the ponies. Um, yes. Is that the only government entitlement program that you support? What other entitlement programs are you for? Just that one. That's, that's enough. But I, in, the, in the vein of uh, energy production, I'd also like to address my uh, z harnessing the awesome power of zombies uh, for energy sources. It's not just uh, to run away from anymore. No, we have giant turbines that we're working on, and we will have lots of zombies, and we'll just sort of dangle brains in front of them, and then they will turn the giant turbines, creating energy to uh, lessen the dependence on foreign oil in America here today. Thank you. Mr. Supreme, your 30-second closing statement, please. My name is Vermin, my name is Vermin, Vermin Supreme. My name is Vermin, my name is Vermin, my name is Vermin, Vermin, Vermin Supreme. And you can vote, and you can vote, and you can vote for me for president if you want to. And, uh, and my name is Vermin. And, um, okay, thanks very much very for coming much. out today. Oh, one, one more thing. Um, uh, uh, Jesus told me to uh, make Randall Terry gay. With
magic sprinkle dust. Okay. okay, thank you, Mr. Supreme. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. He's turning gay. All right, okay, okay, okay. okay.